Hello and welcome to I Love Trading. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a video outro using Wondershare Filmora. Now you should have seen the um, the outro in the beginning of this video and that's exactly what we're going to make now. I'm going to make it on the fly but this will give you the general idea to make a different kind of um, like templates and stuff like that. So the first thing you got to do is you have to find a subscribe button that you want. So you can simply just go to google.com and type in subscribe and then go to images and then you'll find uh, many different uh, images or subscribe buttons or icons and then you you know to be safe you want to pick one that's royalty free so look for one that is royalty free download it and then once you download it we want to go ahead and open up one to share filmora and you can see the one i chose this one right here is fine for me and what I want to do from here is I want to go up to media here. Now I'm using a MacBook. My film, um, I loaded my Filmora. Actually, I have Filmora on my MacBook as well as my Windows PC, but I'm using my MacBook right now. For those of you on a uh, Windows PC with a Filmora, it's very, very similar. Okay, there's a slight, very slight difference. Um, so, anyways, what you want to do is first thing I want to do is I want to add a background color. So you want to go up to media and then you want to look for somewhere it says like sample colors. And then I'm just going to go with the red here. And I'm doing everything on the fly here, okay? So there is red. But I really want this to be an actual uh, outro. So I'm going to go ahead and put the red background here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go under my folder here. And I see several. If I go under all, there's a lot of my videos and my photos. For this outro, I didn't put a video on here. I put an image on here, a picture. But you can put a video on here as well. Uh, the reason why I'm not going to put a video on here is because the videos that I want as my outro, they're not on my MacBook, they're on my PC. And so I just basically made a picture. But you can, if you have like a video, and it's done the same way, it doesn't matter if it's a picture or a video, it's done the same exact way. So let's just say, for example, you have a, a video on here. Uh, let's see. Let me just, okay, so, so here's a video right here what you, you need to do is you need to drag this and you need to drop this onto the pip line okay that's the second line above the red okay this picture is basically this picture icon is a uh, it's supposed to be a pip picture in picture so my video is on here and then if i press on play hello everybody, hey, everybody? So, okay now you can see that video is here and now what you want you can do is resize it like this and then from here you can go ahead and resize it and then if we want to add an, another video you just drag and you drop it onto the second pip line and you do the same thing here you go ahead and you can resize it and put it anywhere you want but uh, like I said for this video we're going to use an image so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two video files and the thing is if you do have the video on here and you um, if you have the video on here and you don't want to use a video you just want to use like a, a like a still picture what you can do easily is you can just drag and you can just drop it on your timeline anywhere you can go ahead and play the video hello everybody, hey, everybody. So if you wanted this still picture as um, one of your images you can go ahead and click the snapshot button this picture button and then this will save it within Wondershare Filmora and then you just have to basically import it back into your uh, Filmora here okay so I don't have the video on my computer that I wanted to make the outro out of. So what I had to do was I physically had to go into my um, my YouTube channel and I had to screenshot this photo here and I had to screenshot this photo as well. So let me go back in here and you can see the screenshots that I did. Let me go under image and it is these two photos here so what i got to do now is i got to drag and drop this onto the pip line right here and then i'm going to grab my other photo i'm going to drag and drop that onto the pip line now you can see that it's highlighted green here now i'm going to go ahead and just like resize this like that then i'm going to click this big photo this big photo right here and now if the green is highlighted on this one now i'm going to resize this one as well and i'm going to put this like on the top here let me try to square this up like evenly let me make sure like both of these photos are um the same size here okay that looks about good right there so i'm going to go ahead and line these up 
like this. I kind of want to leave like a little bit of a, a border on there. So let me move that over a tad. Okay. So that looks good there. Now I'm going to go ahead and import my uh, subscribe button. So now I'm going to drag and drop this down to the third pip line, which is right here. Okay, and then from here I'll be able to resize it as well. Okay, there's actually a black border on this uh, on this uh, this picture icon. It's because I downloaded this. I didn't download it as a PNG. So if you go to Google.com and you look and you um, do a search for subscribe button, the file that you actually want is a PNG. That's that's why basically the background. I will basically disappear and you'll only get a subscribe button. But this is fine. It's a little bit of black on there. I think that looks kind of cool anyway. So I'm just going to leave that just like that. And then I'm going to put some information in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to text now, type in or uh, hit text. And then you want to maybe just go, you can just go to common here. And then I'm just going to go with this one here. If I double click this and you can see what it looks like, the animation here, it doesn't matter. You can change the animation. We can delete and put more text in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop this on the T for text. Now what I'm going to do, okay, so I pretty much, uh, this is okay the way it's up here in the outro. And the scribe button is there. So I'm going to go ahead and double click. And then I'm just going to go ahead and delete this text here. I'm going to start fresh. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the T right here for text. If you're on a Windows PC, once you double click the uh, the text down here, I think that uh, after that, you have to click on advanced and then this window here will pop up. So from here, what we do is we're going to click on text. Uh, oh, it's all small over here. I just put two of them in here. Let me move this down. Let me just change the color to white. And then of course, we can go ahead and put in whatever we want in here. I'm gonna type in Wondershare how to videos, just like this. And you have a preset here, you know, you can change your color, the different presets they have here. Also, you can go under customize, and there's a lot of things you can do here. You can put like a blur on the bottom, uh, you can increase, decrease the size, you can uh, increase the distance. You can put shadows in the bottom. There's a lot of things you can do, but I'm just going to leave it on uh, the default. And of course, under animation too, there's a tons of things you can do. Like if I just double click here, you can kind of see how that's going to work. It was something like that. So you know what? I, I think I'm going to leave it like this for this winter share part. So I'm going to leave that there. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and add another text. So they know like what these videos are, and of course, at, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to link these. So basically, when it goes to the end of your video, people can click like this video, then it will go to that your YouTube page for that video. And if they, of course they click on subscribe, then they'll be able to subscribe to you. So I'm going to go ahead and name this. Um, I think this video was for make video intros. Okay, and let me go to preset here. I'm going to make this one white as well. And of course, you know, you can change your uh, font, you can change your size, you can make it bold. So you can do a lot of things here. But I'm just going to leave it at the default right here, actually. Okay, I'm going to make it like this color. Make video intros. See, this video is for outro, but if you click on this at the end of the video, it'll take you to how to make a video intro. So make video intro, and now what I want to do is I'm going to click on the T again, and I'm going to name this one Clone Yourself, and what color did I use? Okay, that's fine. So, and of course you can put it like anywhere. I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to move this one up. Right there as well. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna be enlarging this. I'll put this at like 36. Put that there and I'll make this one 36 as well. And I'll move this up. So clone yourself, make video intro. And I'm gonna enlarge this down here. So I'm gonna highlight this. And then I wanna go to my fonts here. 
Okay, maybe I can make this bold. Okay, so let me go ahead and play it as this looks right now. Okay, so you see how that is. Now, of course, I can go ahead and I can put animations on these as well if I want. If I wanted to do that or do this or do that. But I don't want any animation on those that are on the video here. I can even do something with um, the subscribe button too. I can make it like uh, basically like just like drop and then bounce around and come here as well. But I just want to leave this at the default. So let me just go back here and see how this looks. Okay, so just a picture, just like that. That's perfectly fine. Subscribe button, yeah, that's perfectly, I, I can resize this, this, the uh, subscribe button as well. But I am going to go ahead and the animation basically for the Wondershare how-to videos here, you can see that it starts right here and then it starts leaving here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this part off. Just move it all the way down to the right, just like that. And now I'm gonna okay it. Now this is an outro, so you probably wanna make it, you know, 10, 15, 20, maybe even um, 30 seconds, but I'm gonna make mine 15 seconds. Uh, right about there is fine. And of course I have to go and I have to drag these as well to make them all even. Just like that. Just like that. And of course you can add music in here, different sound effects too. But I'm just gonna leave mine just like this. I need to extend my text as well. Now let me just double click on my text, make sure the animation, okay, the animation, it's not it's not gonna start leaving a particular part of the video. So basically if I press on play now, once this one is share how to video, how to videos pops up, then this is gonna stay there now throughout um, the, uh, what is this, about 15 seconds or so. So from here, what I gotta do is I'm gonna go ahead and export it. And once I save it, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to link it. So let me just go ahead and export this. And I'm gonna keep it at 1080. I'm just gonna go with 30, 30 frames per second. The outro was saved and I imported back into my Filmora here. And here's the outro. So if I double click the outro here, you can kind of see how this looks. Now basically what you do from here is you uh, download or you um, drag down your video clip and you always have this area here, your outro. And then you can go ahead and what I typically do, instead of putting it like on the end right here, I'll actually go down here to the pip line because what I would, what I usually do is I like to have it where I'm still talking and then it'll, um, before the video ends, I'm still talking and then it'll go into my, uh, my outro and then people can click on it and things like that. So let me go ahead and pause the video here and once I'm uh, done exporting this or saving the file, then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and then I'm gonna show you how to link the uh, annotations where so people are able to click it and go to that particular video, okay? Okay, so I just uploaded the video to YouTube and now what you wanna do from here is click on this little down arrow and you wanna to go to annotations here. Hello and okay, welcome now to what you I Love Trip. Is press on pause and then you want to scroll all the way down to the right to basically where your intro, your outro starts. So let me keep moving this down. And it should start and like press on play. And okay, so it starts right here. So now what you want to do is you want to click on annotation and then you can you can do a spotlight, it's fine. There's a spotlight. And then we can see we have to make here's the spotlight here. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up with the first video here. So right about there is good. And now this is the uh, how to make an intro video. So I need to get the link for that. So we go back here. Here's the link, how to make a uh, video outro, or I'm sorry, video intro. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna copy this link, and then I'm gonna go back to the, this part here, and then I'm gonna click on the link, and then I'm gonna paste that link right there, and I'm also gonna click down here, open the link in a new window. I'm gonna click that right there, and that is perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on add annotation again, 
go again to Spotlight. And now I'm going to go ahead and link this video here. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up here. Oops. I'm going to line this up. Oh, up there. Drag that over. Okay, that's good. Now I have to get the link to clone yourself. So it's right here to my other YouTube video. So let me go ahead and copy this link. And then go back into that YouTube. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the link here. Then I'm going to paste that link right there. And again, I'm going to open link a new window. Just like that. And now we're going to do one more. I'm going to click on add annotation again. Go back to spotlight. And now I have to highlight this subscribe button. So go ahead and kind of like line that up. And then click on link. And this time what you can do is click right here. And then you can go down to subscribe. And then for me, I can just type in I love trading because I have my uh, account linked up with my URL. Okay. And then how you preview this, you can preview it down here. Okay, now a lot of you guys are, your channel name is probably not linked. Okay, so what you're going to have to do, well, let's see, if I click on preview link here, and then it'll basically bring me to this page right here, and people can subscribe to my channel right here. If you guys are putting your channel name in and you're not getting this page, then what you got to do is go to YouTube here, and then click on my channel. And then this is the link that you want to copy right here. And I can do the same thing as well. I can copy all this. Let me copy that. And then I can go back into my, my channel here. And I can just paste this link here. Uh, command paste. Just like that. And I can preview the link. It's going to bring me back to the same page. And people can subscribe right there. And then you want to make sure that your outro is uh, all the way to the end of the video, which mine is. So I can just like, highlight each one of these and kind of move it to the right. And then from here, you just go ahead and click on uh, save, and then you can go ahead and play it. I'm going to keep it at see how it 1080. looks. I'm just going to go with 30, 30 frames per second. And then every time people hover over it, it's going to highlight. And that's pretty much it. And of course, if you guys hit this button down here, I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.